up for him, you know. I mean, Mary Rook is on the line from Athlone. Mary, what did you think of Bertie's performance? Well, I thought it was, as he is, very honest and... Um, he put it out, all the all of the facts, all of the people. In fact, I got quite a shock when he started, or when the commentary started to detail the names and the amounts. And I thought to myself, well, that's the best thing he could have done. Otherwise, there would have been uproar. So he told, and you know, we're all talking about it. And when John Downing said you have to stand back from it, I was thinking to 1987 when, he's, when he separated. And at that time, as we all know, if you became separated, it was a quiet job and everybody went around whispering about it and talking about it and it was a kind of time when the general belief was if you made your bed you had to lie on it I feel pardon the expression and um, it was for him obviously a very painful thing his mother was still alive was brought up in a Catholic household I'm just trying to set the milieu against which it happened and there was another thing struck me so that all of that for him was a very painful, a kind of a hidden time, a difficult time. But there was also another point which struck me when he was talking about it and telling about the education trust for his two girls. There was also the matter of, I felt there were marital material matters which hadn't come out um, fully and which obviously nobody wants to hear of, but which he knows about and uh, his, uh, Miriam as well. I don't know them at all, but there was there were those kind of slide over pieces of conversation which I think hid many expenses which he had at the time which were marital material related but which he wasn't prepared to go into and one can only surmise what they might have been but they were two things that struck me. Uh, uh, no, no, you, that, Mary. The, the, you can sigh all you want to, Vincent. I you wasn't sighing at all. No, indeed you were. I never sighed at you, Mary. Well, I heard you down here. I did and not. And it's 80 miles I away. I did not. Uh, so if you ask me a question, let me answer. If you don't want me to talk, no, I'll go, away. go sorry, I'm quite sorry. happy. No, no, no. Sorry. I'm very sorry if you thought it was sighing. I wasn't. Well, I heard you. I wasn't you have sorry. a peculiar sigh. <laughs> it's a Vincent Brown one. <laughs> Sorry, Mary. I, go ahead. Well, anyway, you don't want me to talk. I anymore. do. I do. Fine. Go ahead. No, no. Go ahead. So I just, I just thought there are things nobody has commented upon, and it took some act to get on television tonight and to talk out the way he did. And I have said it. Said I've had my Barneys with Bernie, Bertie, as you know quite well. They're of a political nature, but he went on to. I have never, and I've always said to everyone, he is honest. He never took money as bribes, and he never would have had. And that was quite apparent tonight. I can't comment any more upon it. That's what I know of it. I know of, of the times. I was at Cabinet with him in 87. I know quite well uh, various bits of the trauma he went through. And I know that the way he told it is the way it happened. And again in 93, when his pals rallied round, again it was different time. The ethics legislation hadn't come in. And he has said he took advice on both taxation, ethics and whatever, and he has broken no law. Mm. But that, of course, won't stop the political furore tomorrow. I can just imagine their day in the sun has finally come. Big time for the opposition. And in a way, one can't fault them. We'd be faulting them if they didn't try to do it. But I think his story was so honest tonight that I certainly believe many, many people will say, well, at least he told it as it was. It's okay now for me to speak, Mary? Oh, yes. Oh, thank you very much. Do, do speak, <laughs> but don't sigh. Oh. <laughs> Joan oh. Burton. <laughs> no sigh for Joan either. Thank you, Mary. <laughs> um. We've got to leave it there. Um, uh, thank you, uh, Mary O'Rourke, uh, particularly, and I'm sorry for sighing, and I promise never to do it again. Um, uh, the oh. production team this evening are Kevin Barnes, Mary Bernhard, and Michael Campion.